right? So today I'm going to show you, you know, the differences between what a switch is and what a router is. So basically, a switch. Um, if you quickly want to identify, like if it if, if a device is a switch or a router, you know, the quickest way to find out is if it has a lot of ports or does it have does the device have just few ports? So in this case, this device right has a lot of ports, so it has forty eight ports. You know that's a switch. That's one way to uh, you know tell that it's a switch. Uh, routers usually have only a few ports, right? Um, yeah, actually, this part. So this is a router, just so you know, right? The black one. Uh, it's a Cisco router, Cisco. 1921 as you can see up there right there so this router um this is a switch basically it's a module like you can take it out you see these two screws you can unmount it um you know it will still work just fine without that module um, but basically let's say if you have a small business you don't need a switch um, you know you can use that add this module and that acts as a switch to connect multiple devices so that's a router and on the router let me show you this right here you see it says GE0 that just means gigabit ethernet interface 0 All right so this port like in the when you configure it you'll see it's called an interface so these are all interface like you know, one interface you have four interfaces here. Over here you have an SFP. So this is what an SFP looks like. So you pull it out like that. Right. Okay. Cisco 100LX. And that's what a SFP port looks like. It's just a square and inside you see uh, where the SFP connects. That's what it looks like from outside. Let me see if it focuses right there. And to insert uh insert the module, the like SAP module. And this is where the fiber gets connected to. Just click. Make sure you hear that click noise. All right. Um and you can you know power the router on using a cable like this one. Get that connected kind of here and then just switch it on. These are also so this is a console cable. So if you want to connect to that port, the bottom one, this one, right? That's how you access, you know, like the terminal and stuff. Uh, that's how you get an access to the router itself. Um, these are you know. Gigabit Ethernet 01 and 00. This is the two interface. So if you want to connect that to the like a route, right? ISP would give give you a cable. That's where you connect those cables to. Or you can have one of the switches connected connect to this one. Either or. So let's say now let's move to the switch. So these three are one, two, then three. They're all switches. As you can see, they have a lot of ports. Um, this one is a layer 3 switch and what that means is it act, this switch alone can act as a router as well so in a sense you don't need a router but it's always a good idea to have a router separate and a switch separate right um, but these are all the uh, ports here and in the back this is a pretty famous switch by the way as you can see the model number it's 3850 right there and this is what the switch looks like so that's that's where you see the console cable console port and auxiliary cable or sorry auxiliary port same thing for the other three switches 
And this is the 1900 series router that I was showing you. That's how you get. Yeah. So now you know the difference between like a router and a switch. Um, over here we also have some Cisco access points, and that's what you use to basically um, for wireless in internet access. Alright, that's the end of the video.